Hi guys, this is an example of uh, lurking variables and confounding. You can see here my X variable, number of firefighters, and I think that there is an association with the amount of damage to forests. So I'm going to do an observational study on this. You cannot do an experiment on this. And I'm going to try to find an associ association there. But we have an issue, and that issue is the severity of the fire. And that is a lurking variable. Why is that a lurking variable? Because it's affecting Y. What makes it confounding, though, is that it's connected to X as well. So we don't know now, is that damage to the fire because of the lurking variable, or is it because of the number of firefighters? When we can't tell if the amount of damage is due to the severity of the fire or the number of firefighters, we call it confounding. The severity of the fire is confounding with the number of firefighters. Okay, when you're talking about that, you do need to make sure you mention two sentences and look in your notes about it. One, about how the severity of the fire is also connected to the number of firefighters. And then two, how, um, how does it affect the why? Okay, and then again, just look in your notes. If you have questions, shoot me an email. Let me just show you one more example and I'll import the picture from my um, library here. Give me one second. I'm going quick, I apologize. If you have questions, again, email me. Here's another example of confounding. Here is one where they look at ex um, the drinking habits of someone, so that's your explanatory variable. You can see that right here. And they're gonna say, well, hey, what is the co or what happens with your heart disease if you're drinking a lot? Let's look at how those are connected. Well, diet and lifestyle also can cause heart disease, and that's tied to drinking habits as well. So when you're talking about that, well, we don't know, is our heart disease because of our drinking habits or is our heart disease because of diet and lifestyle? What makes this lurking variable confounding is because we don't know which one is affecting this heart disease, and that's what makes it confounding. Two variables are confounded when their effects on the response variable cannot be distinguished from each other. Again, check your notes on what I am expecting in a free response problem. There's two sentences. I'm trying not to make this too long. Email me if you have questions.